Hey, in this video, we'll be reminding ourselves what a fronted adverbial is and how we can use a comma to demarcate a fronted adverbial from a main clause. A fronted adverbial is a word or phrase at the start of a sentence that gives more information about the action in the main clause. Let's look at this main clause. The girl opened the door. We can give more information about the action by adding a fronted adverbial. Here, we tell the reader how the action was done by using the adverb slowly. Notice how we use a comma to demarcate the adverbial from the main clause. As well as how a verb is done, a fronted adverbial can tell the reader when, how often or where the girl opened the door. When? Yesterday, the girl opened the door. How often? Every few minutes, the girl opened the door. Where? Behind the secret bookcase, the girl opened the door. No matter what the purpose of a fronted adverbial is, it's always separated from the main clause with a comma. Let's take a look at the first question. Place a comma in the correct place in this sentence. Before school, Ali picked up his sports kit. First, we need to look for the main clause, which will have a subject and a verb. Here it is. Ali picked up his sports kit. We then look for the phrase that tells us more about the action. Here is when Ali picks up his sports kit, before school. This is the fronted adverbial and needs a comma to separate it from the main clause, like this. Before school, Ali picked up his sports kit. In this next question, you're being asked to tick two sentences that use a comma correctly. Sentence one says, last week my class went on a trip. Sentence two says, cautiously, he climbed the rickety stairs. Sentence three says, at the top of the cliff, there was a herd of sheep. Sentence four says, during the day, my dog just sleeps. You may want to answer out loud on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper. Pause the video now and see whether you can identify which two sentences use a comma correctly. Have you got an answer? Fantastic! In the first sentence, the comma is in the middle of the main clause, therefore it cannot be correct. The second sentence has a main clause and the first word, cautiously, tells us how the action is done. It's followed by a comma, therefore this one is correct. In the third option, the fronted adverbial has a comma in the middle. Everything after the comma should be a main clause that makes sense on its own, but this example doesn't. Therefore, it is not punctuated correctly. As we need to tick two answers, we probably think that the last one must now be correct. We do need to check it though. It has a main clause and a fronted adverbial that is followed with a comma. Therefore, the last one is correct. For our final question, you're being asked to rewrite this sentence so that it contains a fronted adverbial. Remember to punctuate your answer correctly. The cat slept on the chair. Pause the video now and have a go. Finished? Fantastic! The question is given as a main clause, so we must use all of it in our new sentence. First, we look for the action and think about what we can add to explain how, when, where or how often it's done. The verb in this sentence is slept. So we can add anything that gives more information about the how, when, where or how often the cat slept. For example, silently, during the afternoon, in the conservatory, every day. Whatever we decide, we must remember that there must be a comma after the adverbial and before the main clause, like this. During the afternoon, the cat slept on the chair. We must also remember that there should be a capital letter at the beginning of our sentence and a full stop at the end. Well done if you got that one correct. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for some more English support, we've got lots more videos like this one available on the Twinkle website.